Most in the scientific community identify it as an ancient comet from another solar system, but others have theorized it could be alien technology. Harvard theoretical physicist Dr. Avi Loeb leading the charge to examine three eye atlases possible alien origins. We have an obligation as scientists is to figure out the nature of the object. He's outlined a list of anomalies that could point to an intelligent origin, a trajectory that seems designed to tour planets in the solar system, a dust cloud containing much more nickel than iron. Three eye atlas is cloaking itself in dust, and scientists can't explain why. Unlike other interstellar objects that briefly pass through the solar system, this one is hiding its core behind a dense veil of dust, leaving astronomers puzzled. The dust isn't just an odd feature, it completely obscures the object's nucleus, challenging our understanding of cosmic processes. Combined with its unusual trajectory and strange physical properties, 3 i Atlas has sparked speculation that it might not be entirely natural. Could this object be intentionally hiding itself, or is there something more behind this mysterious behavior? When 3 i Atlas was first observed, it seemed like another interstellar visitor, an object moving through the solar system, albeit at an unusually high speed. For most of its journey through the solar system, 3 i Atlas remained a blur of speculation, offering little more than a few blurry images captured by powerful telescopes. What was truly strange, however, was the veil of dust surrounding it. Unlike typical comets that leave a trail of gas and dust as they approach the Sun, 3 i Atlas seemed to be cloaked in an unusually dense cloud that obscured any clear view of its nucleus. This veil was far denser and more opaque than what is usually seen in cometary objects. For months, scientists were unable to capture detailed images of the object's surface, and as more data poured in, it became evident that this was no ordinary comet. The dust surrounding 3 i Atlas is unlike anything scientists have ever observed before. Astronomers working on the case speculated that this dust veil could be the result of the object's high-speed approach toward the Sun, which caused it to shed material in a manner far more extreme than typical comets. But the sheer density of the dust, coupled with its ability to entirely obscure the nucleus of the object, raised serious questions about what was happening. Comets generally exhibit a gradual outgassing process, with gas and dust released as they approach the sun's heat. But the cloud around 3 i Atlas was different. It wasn't merely a byproduct of heat. The object appeared to be actively shielding its core from view, which is not typical of natural objects. The dust surrounding 3 i Atlas became the focal point of a heated scientific debate. Could this be a natural feature, or was something more purposeful at work? Was the object intentionally masking its true nature, possibly in a way that we could not yet understand? The mystery deepens when we consider the gravitational deflection that 3 i Atlas underwent during its closest approach to the Sun. As the object passed through the solar system, it was deflected by the gravitational pull of the Sun, altering its trajectory by about 16 degrees at perihelion. This was a typical gravitational slingshot effect, yet what was not typical was the behavior of the object's sunward jet. The jet, which is generally emitted by a comet's nucleus due to solar heating, remained perfectly aligned with the Sun, despite the gravitational deflection. This was unexpected because such a dramatic shift in trajectory would usually cause the jet to change direction as well. Yet the jet continued to point toward the Sun, defying predictions and suggesting that 3 i Atlas might not be behaving like a typical comet at all. Could this unusual alignment be an indicator of some unknown force at work, or perhaps even suggest that the object has some kind of self-regulating mechanism? Loeb, one of the scientists involved in the study of 3 i Atlas, pointed out that the sunward jet's consistent orientation, despite the gravitational deflection, could suggest that the object was actively controlling its trajectory, while comets generally undergo dramatic changes to their behavior when deflected by gravity, 3 i Atlas continued to project its jet precisely toward the Sun. This led Loeb to speculate that the object might possess some form of advanced propulsion or an unknown energy source that was keeping the jet aligned. This would mean that rather than being an inert celestial body like a typical comet, 
3i Atlas could be actively maneuvering itself in a controlled fashion, possibly even for the purpose of avoiding detection. The possibility that 3i Atlas is hiding itself becomes even more compelling when we examine the object's unusual composition. One of the most surprising findings was the lack of water on the object's surface. Most comets are rich in water, but 3i Atlas is only about 4% water by mass, a stark contrast to the typical ice-rich composition of other comets. Instead, it contains an unusually high amount of nickel, a metal that is often associated with industrial alloys. This strange composition prompted further questions. Was this a natural feature of the object, or could it be the result of some kind of artificial construction? Could this object be the product of alien technology, or could its composition serve a specific purpose, perhaps protecting it from solar radiation or helping it generate the energy needed for its jets? The unusual nickel-rich composition of 3i Atlas is certainly an anomaly that cannot be easily explained by conventional models of cometary behavior. Further complicating the puzzle is the object's extreme speed and rapid brightening. As 3i Atlas approached the Sun, it began to brighten much more quickly than any known comet. The object's blueness also set it apart, as it appeared far bluer than the Sun, a characteristic that has been linked to specific types of molecular emissions. This rapid brightening, coupled with its high velocity and unusual color, pointed to the possibility that the object was not simply a comet, but something far more complex, perhaps an object with unknown internal processes. The speed at which it brightened, combined with its uncharacteristic color, seemed almost too precise to be a random occurrence. The physical properties of 3i Atlas are pushing the boundaries of what scientists understand about interstellar objects, leaving room for speculation about its true origin and nature. What makes the mystery of 3i Atlas even more perplexing is its placement within our solar system. The object arrived in a retrograde orbit, entering the solar system almost in the same plane as the ecliptic, the plane where the planets and most solar system objects orbit the Sun. The fact that 3i Atlas has a trajectory so close to this plane, as well as its strange gravitational interactions with Jupiter and Mars, further suggests that it might not be a random interstellar wanderer, but something that has intentionally entered our solar system. The object's precise timing and alignment with the orbits of major planets raise even more questions. Was this an accident, or was there something that made it approach the solar system in this specific manner? The interstellar path of 3i Atlas, along with its unusual interactions with our planetary system, continues to baffle researchers. Adding to the mystery, 3i Atlas exhibits an unusual phenomenon known as an anti-tail, a second stream of material emitted from its night side. Unlike the familiar tail formed by sunlight pushing gas and dust away from the sun-facing side of a comet, the anti-tail forms in the opposite direction, away from the sun. What makes this even more perplexing is that the anti-tail remained active even when 3i Atlas was far from the sun, suggesting that it wasn't being directly influenced by solar radiation, which is the typical driver of cometary tails. This behavior is highly atypical for comets, which usually only produce a tail when they are close to the sun, as the heat causes outgassing and material to be expelled from their surface. The persistence of the anti-tail, even when the object was not in direct sunlight, raises intriguing possibilities. It hints that 3i Atlas might be generating energy or emitting material independently of the sun, which is an extraordinary feature. This could imply the existence of sustained internal processes within the object, possibly a form of internal heat generation or energy release not caused by solar radiation. Such a phenomenon sets 3i Atlas apart from typical interstellar objects, whose behavior is primarily governed by external forces such as sunlight or gravity. The ongoing mystery of 3i Atlas is one that scientists are continuing to investigate. The object's dust veil, its deflection, its alignment with the sun, and its unusual composition have forced astronomers to re-examine what they know about comets, interstellar objects, and the possibility of technology beyond Earth. As the object moves farther away from the sun and becomes harder to observe, scientists are racing to study it in every way they can.
3i Atlas may hold the key to answering some of the most profound questions about the universe. Whether it's a natural formation or something far more complex, its cloaking mechanism, along with the mysteries surrounding its origin, continue to push the boundaries of our understanding. The veil of dust may hide its secrets for now, but eventually, the truth about 3i Atlas will be uncovered, whether it is of natural or artificial origin. Until then, its enigma will persist, urging us to look beyond the stars for answers we have yet to find.